this is Steve says episode number one zero three today we're talking about knowing the difference we're gonna get straight to the point knowing the difference of when to shut up and when to speak up when to shut the fuck up when to speak the fuck up if you've been following this show for a while you know the beginning of the year the the theme of the year was shut up that was all the way back in January somewhere mid through the year it shifted into a shut up slash speak up. Knowing the difference of when to shut up, when to speak up. We're going to break it down on all different levels here today on Steve Says. Steve Says is not always what you want to hear, but it's definitely the shit that you need to freaking hear. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. This week's episode, we're talking about are you applying the wisdom that, that you learn in life? And applying that wisdom really comes comes to the, the, the line drawn in between shutting up and speaking up. Are you applying that wisdom? Then are you demonstrating courage in your daily life? And are you demonstrating patience in your daily life? Because if you think about it, shutting up takes patience. Speaking up takes courage. That's really what this is all about. Those have been some sub-themes of the year, patience and courage. We've been talking about all throughout the year here and all the different social medias and different trainings we've done across the country. Then on top of that, do you have control of your emotions? you have control of your fear, your anger, your vices? Do you have control? And if you think about it, that is the same thing. That line, that down the middle of knowing when to speak up, to shut up, is having control in those two areas. So this is Steve Says, episode 103. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroying the obstacles, preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can finally stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. This is about having a a role model mindset, starting with your mind, your body, and your business. That's what we're focusing on every single week, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak motherfucking self. It's just my peak Freak perspective on personal development, having a positive mindset, health and fitness, all that good stuff about adapting, overcoming, getting your your shit together, making shit happen, trusting the process, and of course, no excuses. So let's get into here, episode number 103. I want to start you off with a quote. I don't know where, I don't remember the quote came from. I could look it up, but I know the quote says, a wise man once said, what you're doing speaks so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. And think about that, your your actions, you heard it all before. Lead by example, talk with your feet, your actions speak louder than words, all those, those bullshit sayings, not bullshit, but they're bullshit if you're not actually living by that. And if you're not knowing and demonstrating when to speak the fuck up and when to shut the fuck up. Not having the knowledge and the wisdom to know the difference between the two. Because listen, if you're learning shit and, you're, and you're, you're studying stuff and you're having knowledge and wisdom and you're not actually embodying that and living it in the fucking real real world and not teaching it to someone else and spreading it and and developing other people creating future leaders with that you're just keeping that knowledge and wisdom prisoner in your own fucking head it's wasted communication and so let's let's start to talk about shutting up shutting up also patience having patience today it goes it, it goes really hand in hand together in order to shut up you have to have fucking patience and Trust me, I'm a student in the shutting up game and the patient game, and I'm probably getting a, I don't even know, a C plus this year in that department. Probably a little more patience, not as much in the the shutting up department. I could always shut the fuck up more, but I could also always speak up a lot more. And again, that's what this is all about today, knowing the difference. So when do we need to shut the fuck up? When do we need to have patience? Well, first, we need to shut up ourselves. I'm going to start right from there, right from the root, from the internal. In your fucking head. You need to shut up in your head. Those voices in your head. That little inner bitch in your head. That's telling you don't go for it. Don't take those risks. Don't make that move. Don't make that bold move. Don't ask for help. Don't do all these different things. That's the voice you need to shut up. That little fucking bitch in your head. You need to shut it up. That's having that negative talk that's dragging you down. Those, you heard it all before. All the terms, whatever you want to call it. Your self-limiting beliefs. That glass ceiling that's above your head. That's keeping you fucking crammed in. And locked in, living like you're still a fucking child. Meanwhile, you're 30, 40, 50 years old. But you're still operating as if you're a fucking child. 
or a teenager. You never even got past that stage mentally and emotionally in your life. You need to shut that motherfucker up. You need to shut him up. You know, you know who else you need to, to shut up is it just to some extent is your 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 previous teach some of your teachers. You also need to shut up your parents sometimes. The stuff that whether or not they had your best interests in mind or not, or they were just crab ass rotten rotten people, whatever the case is. You need to shut up some of the things that they did that held you back. That that now you're you're not making those moves because of what was ingrained in you, what was drilled into you, what was fucking brainwashed into you by previous teachers, role models, mentors, whatever you want to call that think they had your best interest in heart, but really were holding you back. That were telling you the only way to go about it is to go to college and, and get a nice stable job and, and whatever else, whatever other bullshit. You need to shut those people up. You need to shut up motherfucking haters. Not, not shut up the haters, but you need to shut it up from letting it, 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 it get break through your your exterior and getting into your interior. Really, you're not going to shut the haters up and who gives a fuck? Let them babble. Who cares? But you you need to shut it up from entering your space. Just like you need to shut up the fucking negative news and the social media and the bullshit and the arguments and the childish fucking dumb shit that goes on on social media. Shut that stuff up. Shut it up. Shut up the, the, the people who are giving you advice that have never been there, never done that, Never accomplished anything. Have not done anything close to what you're doing. Or tried what you're doing. Never tried shit. Never took any risks. Never made any moves. They're just stuck in their average, mediocre, comfortable fucking lives. They're going to tell you what you need to fucking do. And tell you you're crazy for going out and, and, and chasing your fucking dreams. And chasing your goals. And all this other stuff. You need to shut that motherfucker up. Shut him up. And, 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 and the term shut up. You can... Use that term however you want to use it. However you want to think of the, of the term shut up. Shut them up. Whether it's to ignore them. Literally tell them to shut the fuck up. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Let's go back to yourself. What you need to shut up about yourself. Listen. You don't always need. There's nothing worse than a fucking know-it-all. Nothing worse than a know-it-all. So sometimes. Just shut the fuck up. You don't always have to throw in your two cents. You don't always have to give your advice. You don't always have to be the, the fucking expert on everything. All-knowing fucking coach of everything that happens in the world in everyone's lives. Like, if someone didn't really come and ask you for help, or you didn't ask for permission to to give feedback or help or advice, shut the fuck up with your advice. All of a sudden, you're fucking Oprah. You're the co the Oprah coach or some shit. Like, shut up. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be an all. You shouldn't be an all. And the second you think you know it all, you need to shut that motherfucker up in your head and tell yourself you don't know shit. You don't know anything. You don't, you don't know it all. You don't need to know it all. And it goes back to not, to, to practicing patience. You don't always have to talk. Learn to be silent. Like silence is, is fucking huge sometimes. Learn to just shut the fuck up. Patience and silence. Learn to be silent. See, you think that was kind of weird. I like that. I liked it. Sometimes you need to just be silent and shut the fuck up. And listen, when it comes time to someone telling you something about themselves, right? Some Someone telling you something about themselves. And then you need to kind of one-up them. You need to turn it into talking about yourself. Like, shut the fuck up. Be interested in the shit that someone else is telling you. Think of it that way. Like, you don't need to be talking about yourself. You don't need to say, oh, me too. Or, you know what I can't stand on the on the fucking internet? When you, you po- do a post or something, just some whatever random thought or... Thought you think, something you're thinking of, it, it could be something. Maybe you didn't even, inv- I don't even know, you didn't even invent it. But it's just your thoughts for the day, your post, whatever the fuck you're writing about, your caption. And the people say, oh, I was just saying that the other day. Or, oh, I was just thinking that. Oh, I say that all the time. Motherfucker, shut up. Just shut up. You don't have to always be dipping in there. Always, you don't need to be the attention whore. Like, shut the fuck up. In an argument, shut up. An argument is just two people, two fools. That's all it is. Or there could be an argument where there's one fool and one person that just shuts up. That's all it really it can come down to. In an argument, shut the hell up. A, a major time to shut the fuck up is to know your damn triggers. Know what pushes your fucking buttons. Because if you know what pushes your buttons and you let them get pushed and someone else knows what pushes your buttons, you're their fucking puppet. So are you, are you, be, are you a, a fucking puppet in your own life? Like that was one of the, I think one of the questions I put on the 
the intro to this in the beginning was, are you, are you a freaking puppet in your life? Are you a puppet to your day and to your life and to the world and to other motherfuckers? Are you a puppet to your schedule, your calendar? Are you living your life or are you living someone else's life? Because listen, if, if you know your, or you don't know your buttons, someone else knows your buttons, or even if you know your buttons, you have no fucking control of them and you can't shut the fuck up when your buttons get pushed, someone else is pulling your strings. Someone else is your puppet master pulling your strings. That's why this literally is the secret strategy to uh, achieving and maintaining your freak balance and control in your life every day in every fucking situation. And it starts, it sounds so simple and so stupid. It starts with knowing when to shut the fuck up, knowing when to speak the fuck up. That's what it's about. That's what you need to be thinking about. That's what you need to be focusing on. It's crazy, but that's what it is. Knowing your triggers and then on that moment, that, that you know what moment changes the fucking world will change your life? That moment between... stimulus and response. That moment when some shit happens and your reaction to that shit that happens. That little sliver of a fucking millimeter of a second, that fucking millionth of a second in between can be the difference between success and failure. Happiness and fucking failure. Winning and defeat. That's the difference there. Between fucking broke and millionaire. That could be the difference. That that, That billionth of a fucking second where if you just shut the fuck up, especially when you know your triggers, whether it's in a, an argument, a negotiation, a debate, a, a sale, like think about it, that, that knowing your fucking triggers and knowing when it happens, like, all right, this is me about to get fucking triggered and snap on this motherfucker. Let me just shut the fuck up. So simple, so simple, but that shit will change your life. And in the longer, and in certain situations, will make you a shitload of money and make you a shitload of Happier and calm and controlled and in control of your day. This is the stuff. These are the secrets to never having a bad day. To never having a bad fucking day. I say it all the time. I don't have fucking bad days. Shit goes wrong. Shit's fucked up all the time. I fuck up all the time. I do stupid shit all the fucking time, but I don't have a bad day. No one to shut up. No one to speak up. Shutting up is fucking patience. Have patience to shut the fuck up. Have patience to know when to shut up. But then also, it, it goes into speak up. Have, and speaking up has to do with courage. Know when to speak up. Speak up for yourself. Speak up for others. That's what really courage is. Or a part of what courage is. In the project, we have a creed, uh, the creed of the project. And one of them is I protect others. I protect those who can't protect themselves. That's one of the points of the creed. That is fucking courage. That's standing up for what you think is right. Standing up for people who can't really defend or protect themselves. That's what speaking up, part of speaking up is. That's what courage is. But also speak up for the shit you believe in. Speak up. Like right now, this video is me speaking up. Right now, it's not a time for me to shut the fuck up. It's time for me to speak up. And I find myself not doing stuff like this enough. Not speaking enough. Not saying enough fucking words in a day. So that's why that shut up, I took it to an extreme. The shut up for the year took it to an extreme. That's why halfway through the year, just a couple months ago, I said, all right, this has to transition into speak up. The year I had to transition from shut up to speak up, or actually to know the difference between shutting the fuck up, speaking the fuck up. Because that's how you're going to get your message out there. That's how you're going to help more people. That's how you're going to make an impact on the world and all that other stuff. But also what it's going to lead to is make fucking more money. You need to speak up. No sale, no money, no exchange of services ever happened Ever without first there being a conversation. In order to have a conversation, you need to speak up. In order to have more of those of, of speaking up, you need to initiate that shit. Something I'm not a fucking master at. I told you both of these, I'm a I'm a novice. I'm just learning this shit. I'm just sharing shit with you on my journey as I go along. As I learn when to shut the fuck up. As I learn when and how to speak the fuck up. Just sharing it with you along the way, hoping it's going to help you out. Because I told you, if you learn shit and you don't pass it on and it's and you don't make it a force multiplier, the knowledge and the wisdom that you learn and you gain on your journey and you just keep it in your fucking head and don't teach it to anyone else, you're holding that shit hostage and you're just a selfish prick is what you are. So speaking up, courage, I told you in the project, it's I protect those who can't protect themselves. Spe- speaking up could be going against the grain. It doesn't have to be the popular decision. It means doing what you think is right even if it's not the popular decision. That's what speaking up really comes down to. Going against the grain. Not being afraid to ruffle the feathers of motherfuckers around you. If it's what you believe in, you're not just being a dick. Not just being the 
the devil's advocate, but sometimes even being the devil's advocate is speaking up. Sometimes you need to. You need to go from a different perspective to be the what if person and challenge some thoughts and theories and perspectives. That's what you need to do. Sometimes you need to be that devil's advocate. Speak up on the other side of things to make sure that the situation is where it should be going and in the right direction, going against the grain. Speaking up also can get give you clarity. Get clarity in a situation. You need to speak the fuck up. You need to ask questions. Ask for more clarity. Or even when it comes to ask, asking for help. Don't suffer in silence. We have another saying in the project. Don't suffer in silence. Men fucking suffer in silence till they till it all is balled up inside. Then you become resentful and they're exploding at the wrong people, the wrong times, fucking up their lives because they can't control the difference between the stimulus and the response. They don't know when to shut up. They don't know when to fucking speak up. They suffer in silence and they do both in the exact wrong time. They speak up when they should have shut the fuck up. They shut up when they should speak up. And that's a fucking toxic mix and disaster. And that's what, what suffering in silence really is. And that's going to be the lack. That's going to have no clarity. No clarity in the direction of where you're going. What you should be doing. Like speaking up will give you clarity on what to do next. Where to go. Asking for clarity. Asking for more details, asking for fucking help when you need it, not being afraid, not thinking it makes you less of a, a man or makes you fucking weak or a pussy or whatever because you're asking for help or because you're struggling or you're vulnerable or whatever. That's speaking up. Being vulnerable is speaking up. That's courage. That's not being a bitch. That is courage. But also speaking up is it takes courage to not let shit slide. To not let people walk all over you. You're in the office because, shit, I was guilty of that for years in different businesses. Where you're running the business, right? And, and, and you're delegating things and you, and you don't want to have to do certain things yourself. The machine is running, but then you get some turds there running some spots in the machine. And you let the turds just keep operating on low standards. Not living up to your high standards and expectations because you're... You're, you, you let shit slide. You let people walk all over you. You let people get away with fucking murder because you don't want to have to do that stuff yourself. So you'll take a fucking D minus player so you don't have to jump in there. Even though you can bring your fucking A game every time, it's going to take your time. So you let, but fuck that. I'd rather have an empty seat, an empty fucking seat than a, than a, a pile of shit warming up the seat. That's what I'd rather have. I'd rather do it all myself for however long I needed to rather than let a, 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 a turd Occupy one of those positions. That's what you need to think about. It. That all comes down to going back to your, your hiring process, your onboarding, all that stuff. We're not going to get into all that. But speak up. Speak up for your high standards and expectations in all areas of your life. In your personal relationships. In your business. In, in your job. In, with your, your bosses. With your, whatever. With your employees. Whatever it is. Speak the fuck up. If someone's not living up to those high standards and expectations, don't let shit slide. Don't let people walk the fuck all over you. Because you know what that does? All it does is makes you lose fucking respect. Makes you lose respect. Who the fuck's going to respect someone that just lets everything slide? Trust me, I was guilty of that for years and years in different businesses. Letting shit slide out of fear of, oh, people already think I'm a dick, so let me let shit slide. Let them fucking operate like a fucking idiot so, just because I don't want them to think I'm a bigger dick. Because people already think I'm a dick. You know what? Fuck it. You know, when, 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 I, when people get to know me, they're like, Steve, you know what? When I first met you, I thought you were the biggest dick. And now that I, I got to know you, I realize you really are the biggest dick. But you're fairly fair and, I don't know, some funny sometimes. And whatever. Not too bad. So don't let, pe- don't let shit slide. Don't let people walk over you because you will not get respect. Then the, 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 you see you have those hard workers and the, and the fucking slackers. You're letting those slackers walk all over you because you don't want to have to jump into their job. You don't want to have to burden the hard workers with taking over that load, even though they probably can. Then you're giving more attention to the fucking slackers. The hard workers like, what the fuck? Now you're losing respect from both sides. The hard workers are seeing you let shit slide from the fucking sh- the turds. And the turds, you're not getting respect because they're like, oh, I can do whatever the fuck I want. This motherfucker ain't going to do nothing. Think about it. There's, that's another line in the Project Creed about... I respect my fellow man, I demand respect back, and I grovel to no one. That is speaking the fuck up. That is courage. That is courage. Grovel to no one. Respect my fellow man, but demand respect back. 
you're respecting someone or you're not getting the respect. You speak the fuck up. And again, use this shut up and speak up terms in whatever literal way you want to use them. That's what you need to think about. Then you also need to speak up in your life, in different areas of life, by setting boundaries. Setting boundaries. What are you willing to accept? What are you willing to let slide? Because sometimes you have to make uh, negotiations, if you want to call it. Sometimes you have to let some things go. Make some kind of concessions in certain areas. So what are the boundaries? That's what you need to speak up on what the boundaries are. Set the rules of the game. Set the fucking rules of the game. Make it be known. All right, here's the, the field of play. This is the way we're going to play this motherfucking game. These are the boundaries. This is how we're going to do this thing. This is what goes. This is what is a complete non-negotiable, like fucking die if you do it. That's the way you need to think about it. The, the setting the boundaries. Speaking up is also being curious, having curiosity. Curiosity about what else is next. What else is out there? Curiosity about the people you're dealing with. Think about that. Speaking up is, is your personal expression. Speaking up about who the fuck you are. What the fuck you stand for. What you're about. What you believe in. Your personal expression. Your personal freedom. That is speaking the fuck up. That is having courage to be your motherfucking freak self. That's what it is. Courage to chase your fucking goals and your dreams. And your fucking what, what you're after. And not letting anyone stop you. Tell you no. Hold you back. Slow you down. That's speaking the fuck up. That is speaking the fuck up. And, and in order to get there sometimes, you have to still ask. Ask for help. Ask for a favor from someone. Ask for someone to make an introduction to someone that you need an introduction to. And, and really, if we break this down, this goes back to, to really ancient Stoic philosophy of their, their virtues of the, of the Stoics is, is, is wisdom morality, courage, and moderation. That's what this is. Moderation is right there down in the middle. Moderation, temperance, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's Moderation is knowing when to speak up and knowing when to shut up, holding a line in the middle, cutting those peaks and valleys, controlling your emotions, knowing when to be patient, knowing when to be courageous, knowing when to hold them, when to fold them, picking and choosing your motherfucking battles. That is what we're talking about here. That's what we're talking about. Knowing when to hold the line. Knowing when to give a little. Knowing when to take what's motherfucking yours. That's what we're talking about. Courage and patience. The two sides. The two words. Like, think about that. This is shit that will... If you if you have this perspective, will change the way you go about your freaking day. This will make you have balance throughout your day. Satisfaction throughout your day. Fulfillment throughout your day. Make you fucking win every motherfucking day. Put yourself out there. Have courage to put yourself out there. Have courage to... Quit, quit your job and go start your own fucking business. Make that jump. Make that leap. That's what this is all about. Having that, that courage. But also ha- knowing the difference. Having the moderation. Crawl. For four days I hated seeing this man. And I respect and admire. Yeah. A lot of people hate me. There's still people who for four decades still hate seeing this man. Crawl. What's up, Crawl? You freak from Scranton, PA. A project graduate of class 00... Two? You zero zero two crawl, I think. Yes. Alright, so let's go back into to like moderation. Because that's what this really is. Temperance moderation. And this is this is really having the balance. Yes, zero zero two. I was right. It's pretty crazy. I have a crazy memory. I, I know every graduate, what class to graduate from? There's a hundred of them now. I can tell you each class. Fucking nuts. I can't remember other shit. So Moderation is walking that line, holding that line, and knowing and having the discipline. It's really discipline. It comes down to discipline. Everything here on Steve says almost always ties back to fucking discipline and having a role model mindset. That's what it's about because that's what it comes down to. Having fucking discipline because that's what discipline is. Think about it. Discipline in, in knowing when to shut up, knowing when to speak up. That's what we're talking about. It comes out to courage. Courage is one of the, the foundations also. That's one of the, the core values in the Marine Corps. Honor, courage, and commitment. Courage. Like, it's courage is to have self-restraint, but also to fucking attack when, when the, the odds are against you. But also having moderation. Moderation. Knowing when, the, the, when, when to go, when, when to move forward, when to, to not. That's what we're talking about. Fortitude. 
staying calm, controlled. That's motherfucking patience, a combination of patience and courage. Think about that. If you blend patience and courage together, you have a fucking killer day. You have a, a vicious, fucking violently happy day every motherfucking day. That's what it's about. Controlling your day, controlling your life, controlling your energy, not letting anyone else control it but your motherfucking self. That's what it's about. No one to hold them, no one to fold them, no one to speak up, no one to shut up. Having patience and courage, blending that shit together for a fucking cocktail of success and victory and peak motherfucking freak happiness. The freak code. It's all part of the freak code that we live by here in the freak cave. You can see these freaks behind me. Freak code is actually up on a board up here. You can't see it from there. Whatever. I'm not going to move the camera, but it's up there. Anyway, if you need help in any of these areas, in your discipline, in your energy, in your confidence, in becoming an action taker, in taking risks, in making those bold moves, any of those areas in your mind, your body, your business, your, your leadership, your communication, let's talk about it with OTD, Operate to Dominate Mind, Body, and Business, Peak Performance Accountability Coaching to help you get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, and start living life on your own freaking terms. That's what it's about. So if you would like to talk about some, some private coaching or, or even the project, which is held here in Southern California, an in-person program for men, Operate to Dominate is one-on-one -on -one private coaching online. Send me a private message. Let's talk about it. See what would work for you. See if you'd be a good fit for either one of those programs. We will get you rolling and change your fucking life. I guarantee it. Because guess what? You, you gotta stop having those yes men around you. You gotta stop just going through the motions. You gotta stop living a life of average and mediocre. Because that's bullshit. We're gonna find out who the hell you really are and what the fuck you're made of, what you're really capable of, and breaking through to become better and better every mother freaking day. And a huge part of that is learning and getting some outside eyes and outside perspectives, someone to hold you accountable. Not take any of your bullshit, call you out of your bullshit, and help you figure out when to shut up and when to speak up. And then how to shut up, how to speak up. What do those both mean? Let's talk about it. I gotta run. I will talk to you later in case no one told you yet today. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.